head to Creative Recycling in Tampa and ask for David, and here's who you'll meet. David, that's what workers here have nicknamed this Goliath machine. It smashes and slices all the electronics and turns them into scraps of plastic, glass, and metal, ready to be recycled into new products. Before David came along, Creative Recycling had to do all this work by hand or outsource it to other companies. Operations manager Matt McCarty says recycling is also better for the environment. Where else can it go? We can't just throw them away. We can't bury them in a landfill somewhere. They, they don't go away. They don't ever go away. Here's how it works. First, the electronics, like these old power supplies from old computers, are placed on the conveyor belt. It's a short uphill ride that ends at the shredder. Rotating blades smush and slash until everything's broken down into small parts. These parts run along another conveyor belt where workers paw anything that David can't separate automatically. That includes copper, gold, and silver. Then a magnet lifts out all the ferrous metals. Pulverizer smashes the glass and separates it from the other materials. Air filters suck out all the toxic particles. A device called an eddy current separator pulls out all the aluminum. And now all that's left are these plastic bits, and we're done. The whole process takes just five minutes. Electronics recycling isn't just good for the environment, it's also good for business. After all, Americans are buying more electronics than ever before, and they're throwing away the ones they no longer need. That means more demand for electronics recycling and good news for creative recycling. The Tampa-based company's got three locations now. Spokeswoman Wendy Plant says that number is certain to grow. I think five years down the line from now, we'll probably have up to 50 facilities all over the country. We're just growing at a very rapid rate, and I don't anticipate it slowing down at all. For News Channel 8, I'm Dave Simonoff of the Tampa Tribune.